It's our baby! <laughs> I'm really happy that we've come to this point because we've had so many challenges along the way. And I think it's awesome because these teenagers built a plane in their teen years. What would you, that do to your thinking? This is a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can't believe that I just flew in an airplane that I built myself. This is super amazing. We have awesome pilots. Teenagers are doing it out there. We're going to be in the plane in Africa. We have to get along with each other. So we're going to have to learn each other and accept that we are all not the same. We come from different backgrounds. We, we don't have the same views. We're going to prove to the world that we can do anything as teenagers. And there's a bright future for young guys and young girls. If a child, 14 years old, can be in charge of building the fuselage of an aircraft, um, then what excuses do we have for not achieving what we want to? I learned that teamwork makes the dream work, really, because that plane was so large, you can't build it on your own. I learned about the um, center fuselage, the horizontal and the vertical stabilizers. If their teenagers right, right. are 17 years old, can pilot an aircraft from Cape Town to Cairo and back in their matric year, that's extremely busy. What is keeping us back from achieving what we want to? So this literally changes the way people think and how they then ultimately act. The trip uh, from here to Cairo is 100 hours with direct without any stops. Plus then we'll be stopping in certain countries, taking people up for flips like the dunes. Safety wise, we've got um, sat phones, we've got communication, we tracked all the way. We've got two aircraft. The support aircraft can take 450 litres of fuel, which is about 18 hours of flying. One of the safety pilots going along, and we're going to make sure that any serious decisions that need to be made on the trip is done correctly. So we're there as a backup. I know Africa is a difficult country, a continent to fly in, um, but you know, that's how we do things in life. You know, you have to make the best decision in that moment that you can and not put yourself or others at risk and, that, and that's the kind of decisions I'm expecting them to make. So yeah, it is scary, but it will be good. It was something quite special for us that they chose our aircraft to do this flight in and African made, African designed, flown by Africans up through Africa means a lot.